We have just put together a multi-generational, multi-racial coalition. It was an overwhelming victory in the Silver State caucuses for one 2020 presidential hopeful. Here why other candidates are saying it's still too soon to count them out. And we ended out your Saturday with plenty of sunshine and we look to do the same for your Sunday. Details on your full forecast coming up. As Christians, you know, our duty is to give back to the community and uh, give them some hope. And a small army with a mighty mission helps out a local community. See how two churches came together to give back. It's time to wake up mid-Michigan. It's Sunday, February 23rd. Live and local with coverage you can count on. This is WNAM TV 5 Wake Up. Hello there. Thanks for waking up with us on this Sunday morning. I'm Blake Keller in for Ashland Hill. We'll have those stories coming up in just a bit. But first, I am joined by meteorologist John Gross in the First Warren 5 Weather Center. And uh, hopefully some continuation of that sun yes, this weekend. Yes, absolutely, uh, Blake. It was beautiful yesterday. We had temperatures in the 40s, sunshine, uh, a rare occurrence for us here in mid-Michigan, and I think we're even going to do a little bit better for today, at least as the temperatures go. Here are the current numbers out the door. If you're about to step out, most of us have a good mix of the upper 20s, if not the lower 30s. Morning Gladwin coming in right there at 28, 32 with the freezing mark in Bay City. We're at 33 there in Saginaw, 34 in Flint, 34 also in Cairo this morning. It feels like temperatures combined that wind that we currently do have out there. Not too strong out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Still making your feels like temperatures this morning in the teens, if not the lower 20s. So if you're about to step out, this is what you should be dressing for. Here's a live look at your first worn five pinpoint Doppler live from MBS this morning. Not much to track here. It's been a very quiet weekend and we're going to continue with that as we go into your Sunday afternoon. We're still being influenced by this area of high pressure now over towards the Carolinas. We'll get one more day of this influence before we'll finally start start to see a more active turn in our forecast and that system is all the way over towards the four corners starting to get its act together as that continues to build strength and move out over towards us as we go into Monday and Tuesday. That's going to be the next best chance for us to see some rain and even some snow showers. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, but for the rest of today, absolutely gorgeous. Soak it up while you can. Plenty of sunshine temperatures getting back into the mid to upper 40s. If not, a few of us peaking that 50 degree mark. We'll talk about what's in store for the rest of the week coming up here in just a little bit. Well, breaking overnight, three people are injured after an early morning stabbing at Wayside Central nightclub in Mount Pleasant. We're told that suspect is now in custody. Wayside Central is near Central Michigan University's campus. The school's emergency alert system sent out the report around 1213 this morning. CMU took to social media to say this is an isolated incident and there is no longer a threat to the public. No word yet on the extent of the injuries for those stabbed. Anyone with info should contact Mount Pleasant Police. Stay with TV5 as we bring you updates on air, online, and on the TV5 mobile app. And a man is arrested after apparently sneaking inside his neighbor's apartment. Here on county, deputies responded to a home invasion.